Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in as Survivor. Now straight away I can already tell you Azeroth's resting place is shaped like a dumbbell. It is a very good map for killer if they can persuade the survivors or the survivors give her a 3 gen or him a 3 gen on one side of the map. Now knowing that we have to play around it. We're versing a pyramid head. He's behind me. We've got to be careful. He's going through the middle of the map to see if he can find anyone else and it looks like my scratch marks have fooled him enough to chasing me while I get teammates through the board. He is making a big mistake right now based on the fact that generator has corrupt intervention. Why would you chase a survivor to the side of the map where you have corrupt? This is a massive dead zone, but I can take him over here. I got a little bit of time. Now remember, he can't hit platforms with his ability. That being said, he can hit through this. I have to make a decision on what I do now, and I am going to bait this. Good play. We've taken a hit. That's okay. He did a little bit of a moonwalk there. We've only taken one hit. We know we're on the side of the board that he has no reason to be at. I'm going to do the exact same play again. I made a mistake then. He's going to have bloodlust. He's going to be right behind me. He's going to use his ability here. He missed. I'm going to give him the pallet. And we're going to go right around. Nope, he made a bad play breaking it. So I'm going to come all the way back over here to corrupt intervention. At the same time, he made a very good decision of letting go a chase based on how much time he's wasted over here with Corrupt. I'm not going to waste any more time. I gave him one pallet. That area has nothing. It had one pallet and an okay window. He did really good mind game, really good understanding of time management and rotation. Unfortunately, it cost him the generator in the middle of the map. And if I can leave and get past him and work on one of these two, it's going to hurt him a lot. Keeping in mind, this killer cannot teleport across the board. It's going to be very hard for Pyramid Head. And unfortunately, he should have hit me with that uh, ability, but he mistimed his angle. Or he should have baited it and came through based on the fact he would have had the equivalent of Bloodlust. Two people injured, looking for the heal. Almost done. That is fine. I'm not going to worry about being healed. I'm going to apply pressure towards the objective. Based on the fact the killer is on this side of the map, and I saw a bit of debris, knowing that he's breaking through pallets as well. Let's get this generator done. Two people, 47 and a half seconds. I'm injured. The person he's chasing is most likely injured. I'll have dead hard back by the time this generator is done. After this generator is completed, I will then require a heal from my teammate. I will also go through the map and try and break that 3 gen he'll have on the opposite end of the board through corrupt intervention. That also being said, the way I know he has a 3 gen on the other end of the board was because the generator in the middle wasn't affected by corrupt intervention, and the killer didn't spawn in the middle of the map. He does spawn on this side. Therefore, there are three possible choices of gems on the opposite end. Now, the killer will know this, and the killer can make a decision between playing to the three gem or not playing to the three gem. We're going to find out real soon. He shouldn't be worrying about it with four gems left, but slowly but surely, those generators will be going down. Now, I'm going to be taking that heal from my teammate. You already know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go through the middle of the map. Looking at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, he's chasing one target who has been injured and under the effect of the barbed wire. The barbed wire doesn't hinder you in any way until you go into dying state. Keeping in mind, while you run over barbed wire, your character will scream and put their hands in the air as if mad madness was a tear up from Doctor. However, it does not hinder your movement speed. Just straight away, I'm going to go through the map. We've got two people on one side of the map and two people on the other side of the map. Now, I have to be careful that I do want to go for the save as well. It just depends on what Pyramid Head decides to do right now. Now, he shouldn't have been able to get away from that real quick. If he sees me doing no gens, that's good for him. Anyway, I'm going to run right through, and let's see what he decides to do. Looks like he's going to come for the chase. That's good, because now I'm going to loop him outside of chase. I'm going to take him all the way over to this nice, beautiful area. And it looks like he went right back because he realizes I'm going to loop him outside of chase. The other guy got saved. There are going to be two gens on this side of the board that need to be done. There's the one right there. I can see a li That is a tree, Goose. That is a tree. Okay, um, I'm still going to work on this generator over here. Chest has already been searched. I'll see if somebody left something in it for me. Generator on my left is being worked on. Split pressure on two gens across the board away from the killer currently is his location. Now we know that he's through the board. We know that he's going to see the guy on the right before he sees me on the left. That player is only in struggle. That player is going to die after 60 seconds of being hooked. So if I get this generator, 20 seconds completed. Mathematically speaking, I can then pop adrenaline and go save him. Obviously, I have to take an account for time traveling. Every second he doesn't hook him because he's worried about DS, gets my generator closer to being finished. Now that guy on the ground does have uh, adrenaline. Therefore, I can make an adrenaline BT play to save him if I need to. Looks like the kill is looking for a slug and a play. Knowing that my teammate is under the effect of the barbed wire, we already know what is happening. He's going to be over here in a cage somewhere. Right in front of the other guy on the generator. Getting saved straight away, applying pressure towards that objective right there. That just goes to show you. That just goes to show you that that was a bad call in caging him. Because you always get put 
furthest location away from the killer. Now I can see him there in the middle of the map. Even if we only get one generator done here, he's got no real play. If we get no generators done, he still has no play. But he's too busy focusing on the fact there are two people there. One of them's injured. One of them is not injured in chase. My jetty's gonna get completed uncontested. The other guys across the board most likely flying to pressure. Looks like he might actually be coming in at the last second. I will greed for this gen for my first hook. He cannot commit to that chase knowing that this generator right here has been being worked on. Just like that, I'm already on the jenny. I'm gonna come through with a medium vault. I'm also gonna take another medium vault, or a fast vault from this angle. Let's see what he does. He's coming around from that direction. Don't know where he is. I can't take spacing. There's no jungle gyms nearby. I know he can't leave. Made sure I sidestep his ability and then I come out for the vault. We had a feeling he'd try and cut us off with a shot, so we just played around it. Window is sealed. Let's take him a little bit further away where I've got a pallet to play him with. He made a mistake in his movement there. Jen's already regressing. Have to be careful here. I'm going to stop the Jen from regressing and start working on it. I'm going to run away. He's going to regress the Jen, and when he does that, I go through the middle of the map. Think of all the time he's wasting right now. I've got one teammate injured, who's Maya. What do you think the injured person's doing right now? Applying pressure towards an objective. Two gens on the opposite end of the map. The killer's all the way down there. I get to adrenaline away, so I'm not in chase. Now what I do is I absorb information through what jungle gyms are left and available. That pallet is still there if I need it. Killer's still behind me. You don't want to go that way. That's a really good jungle gym. I got the god pallet here. I'm going to wait. Let's see what he decides to do. Looks like we're both going to play to the god. Door's nearly done. I'm going to go straight to the door. Looks like the killer does not have a really good play right now. And all that came down to was the fact that he committed a little bit too long after me with Corrupt Intervention. I pulled him to the side of the board where the generators were sealed. He had to be mindful of the time that he spent. After he got that one pallet and that good hit, he played that really well. But the time he spent doing that, three people were grouped in the generator in the middle of the map. So he needed to let me do my thing because there was no reason for him to be there. All the other people were Maya and applying pressure towards generator or generators through the map that he needed to protect. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do do educational, informative, survivor, dead by daylight, and killer content over live here at Twitch. If you guys want to tune in, if you think you know everything about the game, you can help me teach people that don't. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. End of the fog.